أبكي على شام الهوى بعيون مظلوم I think it's important um, and I don't think we'd be doing our job properly if we, we didn't discuss this issue is that um, you know sometimes you have the right intention and people want to help um, but that it can often cause more kind of fitma, more problems right so you've all been watching the news and there's people that are um, that see these videos and get quite you know emotional and feel that they want to go to Syria and fight and, and whatever else guys did, did, did anybody discuss this issue with you because obviously I mean I haven't been personally I can only say what I've seen in, in the media so what's the message to the brothers and sisters that probably want to go out that see these videos get emotional they want to help um, Amr I think it's clear um, unless you're trained and an expert in humanitarian aid, there is no room or space for you out there in Syria because you're just going to cause havoc. You're going there for the wrong reasons and we don't, we don't need you and the Syrian people don't need you there. What they need is for us to get together, collect funds and provide them flour. And I remember a conversation with a brother over there, which I'm sure Brother Bashir will... He, he, he was in Arabic and Brother Bashir will probably tell you a bit better than what I can. But we're not, we're not needed in that capacity over there. Brother Bashir? Yeah, I mean, so obviously, we, we, you know, it's an issue that we have in the UK at the moment with a lot, some brothers and sisters going to Syria uh, for the wrong reasons. And I mean, with, you know, the, obviously the intentions are good. But as I mean, Brother Amr's already summed up that part. So we asked, we wanted to find out. So obviously, we want to be able to help the people within the UK um, if they ever come our way, and, and you know, we can give them advice and you know, tell them the thing that we're doing right now, which is to support them by giving them the emergency aid. That's all they need. So we asked them the question. We said, what you know, what, what message do you think we can give to the British people um, to tell them, you know, not to come here for the wrong reasons? And Subhanallah, you know. He just literally looked at us. He looked at us and said, um, "Our beloved Prophet Sallallahu was yes. sent here as a mercy to mankind. He sent. He was sent here as a mercy. So he's basically saying, do it with like with love, with rahma, with you know, with mercy. I don't be violent. Don't go there for the wrong reasons. Do it with love, with charity." So this is a this is the message from the Syrians, right? This, this is, is from the, the Syrians. Syrian. From the Syrians. So this is the message that we we us as British Muslims living in the West. I give that right because I, I I want people to, I don't want to get people you know I don't want people to think that, that you know we're sat, sat here now and we're trying to kind of talk, you know this is a message that's come from the Syrian people yeah, um, yeah. this is not us this them. is not us us telling you preaching or this is not us telling you know this is us passing our message we're here as human appeal and task force GLM literally we went over there and we we saw things and we were told things and we just passed on that message that there's a need that people are dying and they're starving. And they have also added the fact that, look, this is what we need. And that this is all, all it is. We're there, we're, we're going to do our bit. And we're up for the task. And we hope that sure. the people are sure. OK, um, Amr, do you want to add to this? I think, um, look, if you feel that you want to like, go out there and you want to help and you want to do whatever you're going to do and you're being influenced by people or by, you know, videos or what have you not, however, you know what? This muster is open to listen to you and to guard you the right way. Um, there's no need for anybody. Wallahi, there's no need for anybody to go out there. And it's as simple as what Brother Bashir said and Brother said in Syria that, you know what, the Prophet came to us as mercy. And you know, the mercy we can show them, brothers and sisters, it's not by going out there and being silly. It's by about raising money and sending bread. That's what it boils down to for me. That's the biggest weapon that you're going to send them, the biggest help, the biggest anything is just simple bread. And you know, my last words on that is, I remember the brother who had come from the war and we asked him like, what's the biggest impact you've had since the war? And he said, we found a law. Hold on, Okay, I think like on that point, if someone wants to make jihad, make jihad on themselves and dig deep into their pockets. Right. <laughs>